Uh, predictions, uh, 200 gift subs, 200 gift subs if Vikings announce. That's that's my big, big prediction. 200 gift subs if Vikings announce. I don't think it's going to happen. Personally, I don't think it's going to happen. I want to see Biken in this game so I can play this chick for 24 to 48 hours and then get disappointed with her gameplay and then switch back to Leo. I want it, damn it. I want that shit. Give it to me. Here's the part where I, I try my best to... Compensate for the audio that might be missing. Okay. Let's see if 200 gift subs are on the line. That is definitely. I think I found my new character I'm playing. Wow, they put a KOF character into the game. Yo, holy shit. They actually put a KOF character into the game. Holy crap, dude. She looks badass. I was not expecting them to do a completely unique character. But... Cool. Early 2021, two more characters, 15 characters. Oh, bitch, don't, no way. Angie fucking Mito. He's back. Angie Mito is back. Damn, she looks badass. Show me gameplay with this chick. I want more. So basically this character has uh, a dashing attack, which they can cancel up as their main move. Um, very similar to Jam. Um, she got a Thunder Puppy as well? Fighting rushdown character. Um, she also has a very strong cross-up attack. Damn, dude, her cross-up looks ridiculous. Be even more in than that like dash in cross-up looks ridiculous. She looks pretty great. Yeah, she looks very... She's, like, inspired by a lot of KOF characters. I see a bit of King in her. I see a bit of Blue Mary. Right there. And then, obviously, the big Guilty Gear aspect was that she has this giant thunder puppy. She's a cop! Yeah, no, she is a cop. She's got a police badge. I'm so shocked that Angie Mito made it into the base roster. Is there one more character left? <laughs> Someone at the chat. Angie's the lamest character. <laughs> He definitely hasn't been around for a while. I know Kenny wanted Angie to come back. As soon as you saw a fan, it was like immediate, like, oh, it's Angie Mito. Birthday. B -b 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 <laughs> so it's Biken DLC? Probably not. Uh, everyone wants Biken, so they're just not going to do it. Yes, give this to me. Let's make this shit look good. Oh. Let's make this shit look good. <laughs> that song. I'm now paying attention to the song more than I should. God damn, she looks so cool. Oh, what is this? Retweet and like. Retweet and like my dog. Retweet and like. Oh, her air dash is quick as hell. Some little, some minor shades of uh, Jacko. Oh, that looked like it had invincibility. What the fuck? Wall crush or wall bounce in general. She just gets a wall bounce off this move. That's some injustice looking shit. Yeah, she's like the pugilist character, which in turn in Guilty Gear before would be technically Slayer, right? Medium, medium, dash forward. Technically that'd be slash, I guess. Maybe, maybe kick. Oh, that's cool that she leans on the dog uh, for like weight balance. God, man, there's a... This character looks really dope. She looks really dope. Wow. Okay, so you can combo into this thing, but it looks like it only does the wall bounce possibly on counter hit. This game looks badass in slow motion, dude. Sweet Jesus. Watching it at 25% speed is amazing. This move looks nutty. Wait, she's green! What the hell? Her skin was green. 
Yeah, why is she green? Why did she turn into She-Hulk all of a sudden? Huh? She got this weird She-Hulk move? Huh? Wondering if this is something that Zotto is doing to her. Um... Yeah, maybe you can fuse with Thunder Puppy? Maybe dog install? Maybe. Maybe she's poisoned? That's what I was wondering, if it was like something from... from Zotto? Oh my god, she has... she has little dog paws at the bottom of her shoes. Her shoes have dog paws. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Guilty Gear doing a good job at making some uh, badass female characters. Let's just get Biken in here too. Then I'll be super badass.